welcome to the Luscious Dot Life, if this is your first time here. My name's Lucia. I'm in my kitchen, and I'm about to make my boyfriend's lunch, because I'm awesome like that. But I thought I'd do a video on fun facts. I don't know how many fun facts about myself, but just some fun facts. I like to do more than one thing at a time. So generally, when I shoot my videos, I am doing my makeup, or sometimes I'm just sitting, but... Anyway, fun fact number one, this is mustard. <laughs> fun fact number one is I was born on December 19th in Calgary, Alberta. That makes me a Sagittarius. It is close to the cusp. And so I do have some Capricorn traits. As far as I know, I'm an only child. I actually have no idea. Um, that's a long story and a whole nother topic. I love trash TV. I love it. Like the Real Housewives of Everything. And I wish they would come to Calgary because I can hook them up with the greatest wives for their show. Totally. What else? Oh, and all true crime. All true crime. I totally would have been a kick-ass detective. And I think everybody's guilty till proven innocent. Bookstores are my heaven. My best friend and I can go grab a bunch of stuff and just sit on the floor and totally be in heaven. And it's magnificent. I sleep with a pillow named Bubba, and I have since I was a kid, and I love it, and it's perfect. Another thing, I have very few memories of being a child, like very, very, very few memories. And that's kind of sad in a way to me, but what else? I was six feet tall by the time I was 12 years old. Kind of crazy. Good thing I have another male, because this one is empty. So I looked like a teacher at school, and I had really big boobs. Really big boobs. Yeah, that was super. I love handwriting, cursive writing, and I use an old school diary every day and day timer because it makes me happy, and I wish they would still teach it in school. It's great that everybody uses a computer. When I was in school, we didn't have computers. I wish we did. I'd probably know how to use it because that's another thing is I am completely clueless when it comes to technology. What else? School was hard for me. I think I went to like 12 schools, 12 or 13 schools in all my years of schooling. I met my best friend there in grade 10. We were locker partners, so awesome. I don't know how to cook, but I'm trying to learn. Thank you, Pinterest. And I have a little bit of OCD. Some people who know me just burst out laughing right now, but I am getting better. I very much have stopped going into people's houses and just changing stuff around without asking. I'm not 100% there yet, but I'm getting better. I used to hate Christmas. Really, 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 really. I've learned to sort of... Those tomatoes do not look happy to me, so we're gonna skip. That's to be him. I'll give him onions. Ha <laughs> ha Sorry everybody that works with him. Oh, another fun fact, I'm not a vegan. <laughs> I love to travel. I love, <laughs> love to travel. South Beach, Miami. Just dating myself a little. I was very fortunate when I went there. I got to go to the grand opening of Prince's nightclub. That's when he had just changed his name to a symbol. So it was just a symbol on the door and at like one in the morning he came on stage and played. It was amazing. I've been to Montana. I quite like Whitefish Montana, I'm not gonna lie. I've been to Paris, I've been to Milan. I loved Milan, cried on the whole flight home because I didn't want to leave. A little FYI, people say that the French are rude. They're not rude. They weren't rude to me. Las Vegas, just last year again, for the first time in like 20 years. So that was super fun. What else? Where else have I been? I have to have been Montreal. We love Montreal. Go to Montreal if you've not been. Toronto. My son lives there. Uh, I need to go there more so I can visit him. Spinach is awesome instead of lettuce on a, on a sandwich. My boyfriend wants lettuce, but... He can make his own sandwiches, and that's what I have to say about that. <laughs> uh, I always, 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 always wave to animals when I see them, or if I'm driving in a car. 
because it just feels like a nice right thing to do and I think it's important. Black is my favorite color. I know it's not a color, it's a shade, but uh, I adore it and the more black the better. Even my wall in my dressing room is black. My boyfriend was not happy with that choice, but he doesn't really hang out in here so it doesn't matter. I love to dance. I'm not very good at it, but I don't care. I uh, adore it, so I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I think I'm, in, I'm terrible at technology. Like, I'm terrible. So it's one of my goals to learn, kind of like how I'm teaching myself about money. I need to learn about technology. I'm very proud of the fact that I've had my friends for as long as I've had them, many for well over a decade. Some were going into the second or third decade of friendship. So that makes me happy. I'm always cold. I'm always cold. My boyfriend and I have two sort of different sets of blankets on our bed because he's always boiling and I'm always freezing. There's that. For 29 years, I was an agent for models and actors. I loved it. I left it in May of 2017 after my ankle injury. Thought it was a sign that it was time for something, to do something different. I've done it since I was a teenager. I did used to model and act. I've never, ever seen anything other than the odd TV commercial that I was in back then. I don't want to watch myself. Whatever. And I met lots of famous people, so that was pretty cool. Sometimes you don't want to meet famous people because then you're disappointed because you have an idea in your head and if they're rude or whatever happens on that particular day, it might just be an off day, whatever. It can be a disappointment, but for the most part, everybody I bet has been pretty rad. I love to make vision boards and I keep them all here in my dressing room. Just as a reminder, it makes me happy. Oh, this is kind of fun. At least four times in my life, I've been mistaken. I used to watch YNR like crazy. There was a girl on there that I think she was Olivia's sister, or her name was Olivia. She was a doctor. Four times. I've been in LA, I've been in Vancouver. The Vancouver one was very funny. People have thought I was her. I don't really think I look like her, but whatever. But my friend Sheena gave me this cup for my birthday a couple of years ago. I bet you're wondering what's in this glass. Anyway, it's been fantastic because they have totally treated me like gold because they thought I was her and I didn't get why I was being treated so well. And one time I was out with my buddy in Vancouver and I'm like I'm so popular like I thought it was me because I'm so awesome and he's like I don't think so because I think they think you're somebody else he was right that's why they were being so lovely to me so that was pretty funny so I always try to be pretty nice because I never actually correct them either because why would I I'm into a black cat eye today like I said, I like to switch it up. I love organization and design. To me, your house is a reflection of your state of mind. I love, 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 love organization. And I absolutely love design. I didn't go to design school, but I could do your house. And my friend Barrett let me do his house once. Like, pick out all the stuff. And I swear to God, that was one of the happiest days of my life. Seriously. I have a son. And he is on Instagram. Brandon Wickens on Instagram. I'm very proud of him. I have a love-hate relationship with The Walking Dead. Like, I will watch it till the end. I'll stick to the bitter, bitter end. But holy crap. There are days when I'm just screaming at the TV and the writers and whatever. So sometimes I love it. Sometimes I hate it. I take it pretty serious. <laughs> I love almost all music. I don't love obviously trash music. <laughs> the clubs that <clears throat> and there's no words and it just says that and it's like a 30 minute song and you're dancing with some guy and you're like get me that off this floor. Like is when does this song end? I love country music the most. My boyfriend and I have completely different tastes in music. 
he says I control all the music all the time. Then put your iPod on or something, like, whatever. Sorry, I'm gonna call you out. Honey, you're a bit of a jerk when it comes to my music, and he says some pretty rude things, because if he doesn't like it, he is, it doesn't matter to him, so. I don't think he watches my videos. <laughs> I think he watches like two minutes just to be a nice boyfriend. I have no idea. So if he does watch, stop being a jerk about my music because I'm not a jerk about yours. <clears throat> I'm working really hard on trying not to swear. I don't mind swearing and swearing doesn't bug me, but sometimes if you're ever with a group of people and everybody's swearing and every second word is this curse word, it's like, ugh, ugh. So I'm trying not to swear as much. I really, really try not to swear in front of kids, and if I do, I apologize to them profusely. I'm deathly afraid of heights. So afraid of heights. I try to push myself so that I can break that fear, but to be really honest, it's just, I'm terrified, ter terrified, terrified. But I did cure my fear of spiders because two years ago, some neighbors of ours bought um, sod, and when they opened it, it was like right out of the movie Arachnophobia or Eight-Legged Freak. Spiders! Like spiders! Everywhere came out of this thing. And guess whose house? I had to deal with it because my boyfriend wasn't here all the time to kill them. So I had to deal with it. I am terrified of birds other than toucans and flamingos. And I appreciate eagles. And I like robins. Hmm. That seemed weird because I just named four birds I like. Here's the fact. My old boss, uh, rest in peace, Patty Faulkner, she had a parrot named Arthur. Sorry, Patty. I hated Arthur. I don't like parrots. And I don't like crows or ravens, but I appreciate them because they're super smart, so I super respect them, but they kind of freak me out. One day, I went to Patty's house, and Arthur wasn't in his cage. He flew in to under the top of my head. Okay, you see this crazy hair? This does not do well with parrot feet. So he is walking around and he's getting his evil little bird feet caught in my hair and I am having a complete nervous breakdown. And every time my boss would put her hand here to get the bird, he'd go to peck it, she'd move her hand, he's pecking my face. They so got me in the eye. That's what that scar is. It's covered with makeup. It took forever and uh, like therapy can't even help me. Back to music. I'm going to walk down the aisle to the song You're So Cool from the movie True Romance. I think it's amazing. My friend Diane got married to it and I didn't know that because I wasn't friends with her when she got married. So that was like, oh, soul sister. And I absolutely love this song, I still believe, from the Lost Boy soundtrack. I once saw a UFO. Yes, an identified flying object. No, they did not take me and probe me. I was living in Marta Loop in YYC and... I was out on the deck and I saw these three bizarro things in the sky that I'd never seen anything like it. So I screamed for my boyfriend at the time to come outside and then I screamed to the neighbor in the next deck and I was like, get outside. They came out and we were like, what the f is that? And it's like, whoa, war of the worlds, yeah. We went online, anybody else seeing this weird three military whatever things in the sky and people were like, I see it, I see it. Anyway, it was years ago, but I've seen a UFO. If you've ever seen one, put it in the comments, because I believe you. You know what? I think, really, that's about it. I love makeup. We already know that. I love learning, and I love teaching. I never realized how much. When I was an agent, I also taught classes. For many years, I taught the little children and then I stopped and I just did the teens on personal development. And I loved it. And I still have letters from some of my students. I think the best story I could end with, or one of my proudest moments, is I used to go speak at schools for career day. And just kind of really give the facts that, no, not everybody's going to be a model or an actor. It doesn't work that way. I did many schools, never thought anything about it, just did it, loved it. I know, I use an exorbitant amount of mascara many, many years later. Like, I'm talking 15 years later, I'm in a restaurant in Vancouver, and this lady comes up to me and goes, Hi, I think your name is Lucia. And I said, Yes. She said, I thought it was you. I've always wanted to find you and talk to you. 15 years ago, you came and spoke at my school on career day. And I'm like, Holy crap. Wow. 
good memory or I don't age. <laughs> and she said that morning she was going to take her life. And everybody at my table was like, whoa, wait, what? And she decided not to for whatever reason. And she decided to go to the career day. And she came to my speech, which is an hour. She said when I was done, she wasn't going to take her life anymore. And she became a stunt woman. And we were all blown away. And I, I do have a regret in that I didn't take her name. I didn't take her number. We were all sort of, whoa, 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 and, and didn't. And she just said, I wanted to thank you and went her merry way. So that was pretty awesome. That was really awesome. So in the comments below, write down cool things about you. Start talking to each other. What, what are some facts? Let me know about you. Oh, it's weird. This year has gone by so fast. It's coming to an end. Uh, we'll talk about that in another video. Anyway, much love. Hit subscribe. Give a like if you liked it. And just really blessed. I'm really blessed. Thank you for all the private messages uh, people have been sending us via the website, which is the luscious.life on Instagram. Comment there, the luscious.life. And you can also check out my personal life on Luscious Lucia on Instagram as well. And then we're on Facebook too. So that's that. Have a fabulous week. Keep being luscious. Mwah.